I, first of all, I'm an artist. Second, I'm a New Yorker. Third, I'm a woman. So maybe in that order. The program for Reflector really is so much about um, uh, the present. It's a real intention to put musicians into a, a situation of, of extreme improv. So these are really, I'm, I, I, they're wonderful musicians. I can't wait to play with these people because listening is such a skill. And this is a, a big issue for me in the Reflector series because I'm trying to make a situation in which it's, it's a really exquisite listening situation for the audience because we do not know what note is coming next, ever. Much of my life is go to a city, play, leave. Just when you get used to the hall, just when you start to get hearing what the place is like, you go and try it again in a new place. So the continuity of being someplace for four days is fantastic. Songs from the Bardo, that was the first one. Quite a challenging, long text. The Bardo is not just a time after death, the Bardo is right now also. This is also the Bardo of a time of illusion where you don't quite understand what's beneath things. You just see the surface, so. Uh, it's a story about illusion. The second show was specifically about duos. It was uh, just the fun of playing uh, duets with Ruben. We had um, a lot of fun working with images, so we were thinking, okay, so let's be inspired by whatever we're seeing. show is the opposite. It's about, it was called a radio play and it was about mental imagery. That sounds amazing. That sounds great. You're not using any power. Oh, you are. The power just dropped. Lots and lots of stories, lots of stories, and lots of conjuring of, imagine if you see this, or imagine if you're blind, or go to the back of your mind, this small dark place behind your eyes and just listen to the sounds as they come into your ears. So it's very much about listening. So scenes from my radio plays were always called. That was a lot of fun. Good evening. Welcome to Radio Interference. I'm going to play a sound. And I want you to follow this sound with your mind. Ready? so dass das Publikum das angeboten wird, dass er auch noch mal darauf hingewiesen wird, dass es laut ist und dass da drin auch das Beleuchtungskonzept etwas hypnotisch ist. My name is Stuart Hurwood. Um, I work with Lou Reed for the last 10 years of his life. So what I'm doing here is an installation um, carrying forward Lou Reed's work. We've, we're up to seven guitars now. They're put in a special tuning, which is called ostrich tuning. Um, that means that the six strings are all tuned to one note. So that's ostrich tuning. I'm a sucker for mirror balls. I, you know, it's just a you know a disco thing. But for me, I I love seeing it here in the Philharmonic because. Putting the disco ball in, in a place like this is a little bit untasteful, <laughs> but what it does is it shows you the architecture very clearly, and I love that. We are playing uh, a string quartet from Louis Anderson to uh, sort of open up the uh, festivities tonight. <laughs> you can really meet an artist differently when when they get to curate and show more of their work. I guess that's the great thing about this reflector thing as well is that you can like, people that maybe you might have studied about in books, 
you can like really meet them. It's so beautiful. I'm just curious. It's very beautifully transparent, and I really like it so much. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's you. really yeah. lovely. Um, you know, they're, before the show, they're, drink, they're having a drink. They like to talk. But this was so quiet that they had to like, you know, and they were very quiet. They were really a wonderful audience. I mean, the audiences are, are great. Uh, getting the, an audience that is sympathetic to what you're trying to do is very good. It's also good to have some people who are like, really, you know, because then um, otherwise you're just playing to the same people. So it's nice to make some things that are a little bit challenging for some people. It's a lot of fun to play here because it, it is very, um, very different from a proscenia. And I, and I like that a lot. It always takes a while to, to tune a hall, especially if you have a very adventurous piece of architecture like this. It has its own properties that musicians need to understand. <laughs>